Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's say you have this good looking design, but this is still very different from the final product. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn this boring looking design into something closer to the reality by adding 3D eyes and also apply skin pattern using appearance feature in Fusion 360. Let's get started. The process here is pretty straightforward. So first, we will draw a sphere. So select the sphere and then select the plan that we want to work on. And here it is the eye socket plan. And if you hover the mouse slowly, you will see uh, the center of that circle pop up and we will choose that as the point for the sphere. And make it a new body. Enter the appropriate diameter. Say OK here. And next, we want to make a copy of that. You don't need to make a copy if you are just going for a 2D effect where all the details are on the surface of the eyeball. Alternately, to find the center of the eye socket, uh, we can create a construction point rather than just hover the mouse slowly to find that point because we are going to use that point later on for scaling the eyeball. Next, we are going to scale those eyeballs. So basically, squash them down, make them flatter. For the reference point, we use the constructed point that we did earlier. And also, we are doing the non-uniform scaling. For this one, we make it overall smaller. Remember, we have two eyeballs. The other one, I'm going to make it just squash down in the uh, Y direction a little bit and make it transparent. So all the details will be in the inside eyeball. That's where we create the 3D look. Now right click on any object and you will see the appearance option. Click that and, you, and this window will pop up. So basically just explore around and you can drag the color to the surface and that will apply to the body. For the outer sphere, I use the clear glass so I can see through it. For the inside sphere, uh, it depends on what look you are going for. So basically any silver, bronze, or even red will work. Here I use some brass material. Next is to cut the pupil so we can apply different color to it. Here I use uh, ellipse to draw the, the outline, uh, but you can use spline or round circle to create the pupil outline. Now the pupil outline is created. Let's hide the body so it's easier to work with. Now use the split function to cut the pupil out. Now apply a color to the pupil. Here I use the black. 
if you are going for the walleye, you can use white or some kind of uh, opaque white. Now together with the outer sphere, here is the look of a 3D eye. You can also modify the tint color of the glass portion of your 3D eye. Just right click the material and this window will pop up where you can adjust the tint and the color, lightness, etc. You can also apply this method to the body so the entire body will have some kind of color instead of a boring gray. And there's another trick. If you don't like the default color, uh, you can change the image. Uh, to do that, you can do an edit on the existing color or do a duplicate and make a new color. That way you don't mess up the original color. And once you right click, select the edit and this window will pop up and you can click the source image file name and it will let you select your own image so here i already saved the uh, uh, bass skin and i import that image here and as you see it gets applied to the entire body and you can give it an appropriate name You can also adjust the scale factor so the image pattern will be more proportional to the body itself. And there's a catch. When you apply color or appearance to the body, you can only apply one appearance to the body. Uh, although you can apply different appearance to the to different faces, but for example, this model is broken up many small pieces. It's hard to do different appearance to different faces. So in that case, you have to separate the body. For example, the tail fin will be a different body. So you can apply different appearance to different bodies. Now with the 3D eyes and the skin pattern, we can really visualize this design. And here's another example. Hope this video can give you some idea of how to utilize the appearance feature in Fusion 360 and how to incorporate that feature in your design workflow. If you have any questions or requests, please let me know. I will see you in the next one.